Pinakota Katoa. Honourable Tau Henry. Um, there have been um, several uh, platitudes offered up to various people, sir, and uh, I want to start by saying that my cousin uh, Shane Jones uh, continues to give great speeches, continues to tell a story uh, in his own way and only as he can. And I, sir, could listen to Shane all day, apart from when he talks politics. Um, but I do want to make particular mention, sir. Sorry? It's most probably right. I want to pay particular respects to uh, a person who's not here now, and that is uh, Patariki Rei. Um, I do remember, Machu, that uh, when I became a member of parliament, I had a couple of hui with him, and I, I was astounded to find out uh, that he has an Ngāpuhi link, like most of the country. And that is through Matauri Bay and through their Tupuna Tamatami. So, uh, Ngā Mahi Nunui, uh, Kia Ia, uh, Kia Koe e Matu. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, if you read uh, various treaty settlement uh, pieces of legislation, you'll find that um, over a very, very short period, uh, a people starting out with uh, thousands upon thousands of acres, a people with their own economy, a people uh, highly regarded uh, for their exploits, become landless. And in this particular case, over a 20-year period from 1840 to 1860, you have uh, what could only be classed as theft and genocide and, and all sorts of uh, words that we uh, uh, want to use uh, these days. But in a matter of less than uh, 100 years, uh, they became, as other iwi uh, have become, and that is landless. So when you take that away, you take uh, uh, a whole part of the people away. Uh, sir, I want to um, uh, talk about the attribution of Kamate. Now, sir, I, I, when I heard uh, the, the, when the introduction of the bill uh, came to the House and it was called the attribution, um, I didn't know what that word, word meant. Um, I'm only from Otara. I'm, um, I'm not a university graduate. But so I looked it up. I looked the word attribution up. And they got a whole whakapapa of this word attribution. That back in the day in, um, uh, in England, there was a, uh, a kawa, a kaupapa, a, uh, a, um, a way of doing things in the pub that if you didn't have any money on you, you could go in and you could get a piece of chalk and you could put down on a slate what you were drinking. And that's where the term chalk it up comes from or put it on the slate, um, as some of us... Uh, have been want to do over the years, Mr. Speaker. In the back room here. The back room here. Um, but that's what attribution means. So we can chalk uh, this haka up to Ngati Tua and Te Rauparaha. The first time I came across Te Rauparaha was when I was a kid at Hillary College. And Bill Tafai was our, uh, was our, our Maori, Maori teacher. And um, we got to know uh, about who composed it. We got to know about who Ngāti Tua Rangatira were and, 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 and are. And I, I will always doff my cap to Bill Tafai for being the sort of teacher that New Zealand uh, uh, deserved. 
then and now, Mr. Speaker. Um, I do want to say this, though, that um, we shouldn't, uh, on these occasions, uh, miss the opportunity to talk about those sorts of people. You know, Te Raupraha, Kawiti, Pōtato, all the big names of our past, all the big names, uh, all the big players uh, on the stage that was Māoridom. And, and to take up the challenge uh, that the Minister of Māori Affairs is, has talked about today about our education system, it is now time that this country has moved on so much that part of the curriculum, and I make this plea that the next government, whoever they may be, seriously investigates and puts into practice what most other countries do anyway, and that is their own history as a subject, as, subject, as, a, subject, as a particular subject uh, in our schools primary, intermediate and college yeah. and call it New Zealand history and talk about it all, not just the nice bits, sir, because it's with everything. You know, in war, you cannot have war without another side. In the Waido affair, you cannot have a Waido affair with one person. You know, can't have an affair with one person anyway. Um, <laughs> Well, you, you could, I suppose, <laughs> if you think about it. But in the White House affair, when the Māori Affairs Select Committee went to, uh, uh, to the South Island to hear, you know, we heard about this, that and the other thing and how terrible it was. Um, you know, we heard the Māori, Māori history. Let's not forget that there were a couple of dozen European settlers that, that uh, perished, died in the affray. In the, in the affair. And so we shouldn't, be, we shouldn't uh, be shy to talk about the whole rather than the part of our history. And so I do make that plea that wherever we go, when we're talking about Te Raupraha, uh, we don't only see him as a composer because there had to be an affair, there had to be a, a reason for, and I'm not saying the Waito affair was... Uh, uh, um, led up to the haka, but there has to be something that leads a man like that or any person to compose uh, a, a uh, verse that explains their situation. And so we shouldn't, uh, uh, you know, be scared or be shy of talking about the whole rather than just the part. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, Thursdays are becoming, uh, in this House, the day where we talk about New Zealand history. And like I said before, I make a, a passionate plea for the next Minister of Education, whoever they may be. Um, Chester? Oh. Um, <laughs> that, that, that's one of the first things that we do. Hi, Trevor. That's one of the first things they do because I tell you what, it will bring uh, it will bring our nation uh, <laughs> it will bring our nation closer together as these as the passage of these bills brings the nation closer together. Hoyano, taku mihi kia koutou katoa, yaku rangatira, yaku kaumatu, yaku kuia te na koutou katoa. The Honourable Nanaia Mahuta.